Black Beach Day. Isn't that racist? No, it's not. Black people are meeting on a beach. When we walk through your neighborhood, you call the police on us. When we shop in your stores, you follow us around. Is that not the same thing as telling us that we want this area to only be for whites? Is that not the same thing as, as me saying we're gonna have a black beach day? Is that not the same thing? Only thing is, we're probably not gonna call the cops on you because black people are very welcoming. If a white person was to show up to Black Beach Day, I don't think that we would beat them up or, 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 or get some torches and, and rush them off the premises. If they could dance, we probably would let them in. I cannot tell you how many times I've shopped at a store and a white woman has stared at me the entire time while I'm shopping at a store because she thinks I'm going to steal from her. From her store. From her precious store. The story of an African woman who was used as a circus animal by the Europeans. Bartman grew up on a colonial farm where she and her family worked as servants. By her teenage years, with still a lot to learn about life, Bartman married a Khoikhoi man who was a drummer. Husband was taken away from the face of earth by Dutch colonists. Soon after, she was sold into slavery to a trader named Peter Willem Cesar who took her to Cape Town where she became a domestic slave to his brother, Hendrik. This contract required her to travel with the Cesar brothers and Dunlop to England and Ireland where she would work as a slave. She was sold four years later to Paris where she was under the control of a wild animal exhibitor in a traveling circus. George Cuvier saw her and developed a scientific interest. His main idea of science was proving the superiority of the white people. Today I was shopping in a luxury department store and a woman mistook me for an employee. And that is just the first time that that has happened to me in such a long time that it warranted me talking to the internet about it because it was so absurd. Like I was in a spaghetti strap, deep V-neck maxi dress with a designer handbag, designer sunglasses on my face inside, like literally being obnoxious as is and this woman tapped me on my shoulder and asked me where to find the fitting room like almost as if she had to go out of her way to rack her brain and think that i could work at that store like she had to see me and think wow, employees are really given such a big allowance these days. Like, there's no way that she saw me and it clicked for her that I was an employee. Like, she had to do mental gymnastics to think that I was an employee simply because of my race. And then still concluded and proceeded to ask me where the fitting room was. And then when I kindly responded to her, I, I don't work here. She goes, oh, 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 what? like I just have not, I, I stood there in genuine silence for, for like several minutes because she just kept moving. She was like, oh, huh, 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 look at me and look at you. Like, like no offense lady. Okay. But who are you? Do you work here? Because I definitely don't. And my thing is like, again, you literally were so set. This woman was so set in her values, in her, in her brain, that black people are less than, black people are inferior, black people are servants. And I know that sounds dramatic probably to some people, but like, honestly, to think that regardless of my entire outfit, the fact that I was actively looking through a clothing rack, like picking up pieces and looking at them, not in the way of putting them away or anything. Like, and you still concluded, she still concluded that I was, had to be an employee. Like, it just genuinely, it's one of those things that really just rocks you back to this planet Earth that we live on. Um, because, wow, like, ugh. Walmart is ordered to pay an Oregon man $4.4 million in the so-called shopping while black case. So you telling me right now, so, so you telling me right now, he's going to trespass me from this property for what reason? Because he wants to. Because he wants to. On August 19th, a Multnomah County, Oregon jury ruled against Walmart 
saying a customer was racially profiled by one of its employees. What did I say? What, what did I say to threaten you? What did I say? No, I didn't say anything to threaten you. It happened on March 26, 2020 at a Walmart in Wood Village, Oregon. Michael Mangum went to the store to buy a refrigerator light bulb when he noticed an employee in the same aisle. The employee, later identified as Joseph Williams, worked as theft prevention in the store. According to court documents, William asked Mangum why he was staring at him. Mangum says he replied, quote, because you're looking at me. After that, Williams ordered Mangum to leave the store. What did I say? What, what did I say? If I keep watching you, you're going to slap the shit out of No, I didn't say that. Williams called non-emergency officers, saying there was a customer who refused to leave and threatened to smash his face. So you telling me right now, so, so you telling me right now, he's going to trespass me from this property for what reason? Because he wants to. to. According to court documents, officers interviewed Mangum, Williams, and a nearby couple who witnessed the interaction. And I'm going to go find this other couple here, and I'm going to ask them if I said that. I'm going to find this other couple here, and I'm going to ask them if I said that. Responding officers determined no crime was committed and refused to take action based on Williams's quote, shifting explanations of what happened. In the days that followed, Oregon officials investigated the incident, describing a quote, pattern of behavior by Williams. He just basically said that uh, that Joe had the tendency to exaggerate uh, when he's making the calls to get uh, law enforcement assistance and that um, he just wanted to bring that to Kelly's attention. Is that a serious matter or, or, or a trivial matter? I would call that serious. Mangum's lawsuit read in part, quote, Defendant Walmart, by and through its management officials, was aware that Williams had, on previous occasions, provided false information about customers to police officers and knew that police had complained that he was not to be trusted. Hey there, this is Anne Marie, the anti HRHR lady. And what I want to talk to you today about is differentiating between what discrimination is and what it is not. Discrimination refers to any kind of unfair treatment that a person is subjected to based on a protected characteristic such as race, ethnicity, nation of origin, sex, um, religion. Uh, ability and age and in some cases uh, there may also be protections based on gender identity and gender orientation but the federal law protects the characteristics that I just mentioned. Here are some examples of discrimination that you should look out for if you are a person who has any of the protected characteristics that I just mentioned, either individual ones or combination of them. If you are subjected to these any of these kinds of things that I mentioned, you are more likely being discri discriminated against at work and you have every right to raise it as a claim.